If this Senate committee hoped to hear a plan to break the American military's bloody stalemate in Afghanistan, U.S. Defense Secretary James Mattis likely left lawmakers disappointed. We're not winning in Afghanistan right now, and we will correct this uh, as soon as possible, I believe. To date, more than 2,300 American soldiers have been killed and over 17,000 wounded in the mission. And U.S. military officials acknowledge the situation has deteriorated in recent months. A truck bomb in Kabul in May killed more than 150 people, the deadliest attack since the Taliban's ouster in 2001. Three American troops were also killed on Saturday when an Afghan soldier opened fire on them. When can we expect the Congress of the United States to get a strategy for Afghanistan that is a departure from the last eight years, which is don't lose. By mid-July, uh, we'll be able to brief you in detail, sir. We are, we're putting it together now, uh, and there are, going to be, there are actions being taken uh, to make certain that we don't pay a price for the delay. Reuters reported in April that U.S. President Donald Trump is considering a plan that would send three to 5,000 new American and coalition troops to the country. Some U.S. officials questioning the benefit of ramping up troop levels, arguing the actual number of soldiers needed to turn the tide in Afghanistan would be politically unpalatable at home. By current U.S. estimates, Afghan security forces control only 57 percent of the country.